Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Top Yoruba leader joins Mazi Kano in saying President Muhammad Buhari is not the one ruling Nigerians. A top Yoruba leader has, according to his reaction via a statement on Tuesday, joined the leader of the indigenous people of Brafia, IPOB, Mazi Kanu, to acknowledge that the president, Muhammad Buhari, is not the one in charge of the government in Nigeria. Although he didn't make this, he didn't make the mention of or refer to Mazi Kanu, but his statements were all in line with what Kanu has been saying. While reacting to the allegation by the National Security Advisor and his NSA, Babagana Mongona, accusing Chief of Staff to Buhari Abikarim of being in control of the government. He said this was an obvious confirmation that President Muhammad Buhari has not been the one in charge of the government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Ayo Adebanjo, an affairy fairy title holder, has made the same statement as Mazi Kano, while speaking with Daily Post on Tuesday, he said that we are asking God to take away Buhari. He also started, he also stated that he has for long had a conviction that Buhari was not the one in charge in the aim of affairs or in the ruling the country. He went further to reveal that Nigerians who are still praising President Muhammad Buhari are living in self-denial. The elder statesman also said that everyone knows the truth but are afraid of saying it. Remember Mazikano and has been singing it loud to Nigerians for a while now? That President Buhari has not been the one in charge of the government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Guys, what do you think? Um, Mazikano has been saying it time and time again. He's been shouting it from the rooftop that with all inclinations of things that have been happening, that Buhari is not the one in charge of Nigeria. Now, an affair fairy of um, Yoruba land, a title holder, has also um, stated this saying he's very confident and sure that Buhari is not the one in the aims of affair in Nigeria. Based on what has been happening and his reaction, especially he went further to explain regarding what's been happen happening between Abu Karim and Monguna. And you can see for yourself that Buhari has not been the one in charge of the country. You could see his reaction to things. He's very slow in reacting. And even when he reacts, it's as though he's living, he's being absent minded, or he does not really know exactly what is going on in the country. So, Nigerians, what do you really think for fact? Do you think that this is the Buhari that was elected in, in 2015 or something has gone wrong along the line? You know, uh, Nandi Kanu has been saying this repeatedly again and again and again, that Buhari is not the one. The Buhari in Aso Rock presently is not the one that was elected in and that there is another person there, alleged Jubrim of um, Sudan is the one ruling Nigeria. And um, he's been saying it that, uh, you know, he's even take, taking it to the international community that he should carry out an investigation as to ascertain if really he's the Buhari or somebody else. He wants the issue to be looked into and he wants the matter to be resolved because he feels so strongly with all that is going on and the absent minded of the president, his mood of reaction and how he's been attending to issues regarding the country. He feels so strongly and he has come out therefore to say, according to Una and Kano, and now Ayo saying that they are very convinced and sure that he's not the one in power. Ayo went further to say that he's praying to God that Buhari will, will be, God will take him away. You know, these are strong statements. I mean, do you really blame these people with what is going on? Destruction of life and property. And our government seems to be seriously oblivious to what is going on with the population. When they came into office, 
they saw and they took the oath of office to protect, first of all, Nigerian citizens, to protect their security. But apparently, this has not been so. They've not held up to the oath of office that they took, saying they were going to protect Nigerian citizens. They, they have been the one being served rather than serving the people. So what can you really say the situation is in the country? Because you can see for yourself that clearly things are not what it should be. The nation of Nigeria is bleeding. Look at the northeast of Nigeria. Killings every day. Trying, trying seriously to wipe out the Christian population of the country. They are really trying at it. And guess what? The world is watching. You may think nobody knows or nobody cares. The world is watching. And it's only a matter of time. Nigerian leaders, everyone involved in this maniac, everyone, you know, the large population of them, you know, everyone that has been involved in one form or other will be brought to justice and they will dance to the tune of the song that they are setting. Nigerians, I want you to be security alert because it's obvious with what has been happening that the government of this country does not really care of what happens to her citizen. All they care about is themselves. All they care about, most of them, is how to launder money, how to, you know, how to enrich themselves, and how to make themselves richer by the wealth of the nation, not the people. They are not a government to serve the people. Rather, they want to be served. Rather, they want the people to serve them. You can see for yourself that these are all evil prevailing in our community and our society today. So, Nigerians, I would like to hear your take on what you think exactly is going on in the country. I would like to hear your thoughts because what is going on now presently in the country is alarming. They are not even staying in the north alone. They are not just staying in the north. Look at what they came to do in Delta. Look at what they came to do in Edo. Look at what they came to do in Ikiti State. Thank God the people of uh, Imoru Ikiti raised an alarm. And guess what the government of Ikiti is saying? He said they are hunters. <laughs> Can you believe that? He said they are hunters from the north. Or hunters from Kano. So they took the hunters, they told them that uh, in the Kiti forest, there is uh, the best meat that they don't have anywhere elsewhere in the world. It's only in Kiti. <laughs> I mean, who are we deceiving here? Who are we like seriously deceiving? Hunters that will not stay. There is no bush in the north. All the way, they left Lukoja, they left Kano, they left Medjugorje. They, they craved all the way and they came to Ikiti. They came to Ikiti, they now entered into a particular town. Ten of them, ten, 13 of them precisely. Initially we heard 10. Later, as the news went on, we heard that it was 13 actually. Fully armed, armed to the feet. Fully armed with charms all over their body. And they came out, they said, the, 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 the people reported them. Thank God for the swift, you know, because of Operation Amotekun, the swift, respon uh, swift response of the police. Don't think the police responded because they wanted to respond. Remember that Operation Amuteko is one thing the South, South East, uh, Southwest are putting up together to protect the lives and property of the citizens. And so I guess this is my opinion that probably they've been told that, uh, you know, they, you could hear your government seriously trying to protect them, bring up a law to protect them, that they should even protect, provide an agency to recuperate them into society. So kill free, say, repent and be free. You understand? So, probably they've told them that if you hear the people just say they've caught some Fulani headsmen or whatever, quickly go there, rescue them. You know, so asking the police, following up on what has been happening with these people that were caught with arms and came into a town, 13 of them, fully armed with AK-47, fully armed, not with, um, not with, uh, uh, my, my, uh, 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 what's it called, machineries. They came with fully armed, you know, they came to, so, you see, the, the, the hunting, they came to this human hunting. <laughs> you know, human hunting. And guess what the police, the uh, commissioner of police in the state said? They said, yes, they are still interrogating them. They are still investigating the matter. And they said they are hunters. Typical. <laughs> Typical. Next, you will hear that uh, they've, 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 they've uh, moved them to Abuja. And that will be the end of the issue. That will be the end of the matter. You may not hear of it again. So what are we saying, Nigerians? A lot is going on. Please be security conscious. As soon as you see anything funny or strange, quickly alert. Don't keep quiet. Quickly make sound out. That might be the saving grace to your life and to the life of the loved ones, your loved ones and people around you. 
don't keep quiet when you see strange things happening and be, think it's normal. No. These people are living, they are infiltrating into our land. Remember what Meiti Allah said, that they are coming to take over, but they will not. It will not happen. Okay? Thanks for listening. So this is the news for today. What do you think? Uh, a very, very, um, your top one, one of their top uh, chiefs has also said same thing Nona Andikano has been saying. Let me hear your take on the matter. Do you think it's really Buhari or somebody else? Uh, leave me a comment. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Have a good day. Bye.